The US has a lot of weird borders, like this panhandle in Connecticut, this notch in Massachusetts, and this part of Missouri called the Missouri Boot Heel. It's a part of Missouri because back in 1819, Missouri was in the process of breaking off into Missouri and Arkansas territory. Eventually, it was agreed that Missouri's southern border would be the 36th parallel, which would exclude the modern day boot heel. This was protested by a guy named John Walker because if this area became a part of Arkansas, he would lose most of his land to the Arkansas government. Walker also argued that this area had more in common with these Missourian towns rather than the rest of Arkansas. And so on March 2nd, 1819, this border was established and the boot heel became a part of Missouri. Next door is Kentucky, which has two weird borders. This exclave called the Kentucky Bend and this sudden drop in the Kentucky-Tennessee border. And you might be surprised to hear that this was actually intentional and not a mistake. Well, kind of. You see, according to a 1665 royal decree, the border for all these states was supposed to be here at 30 degrees 30 minutes north. But because of human error, this line slowly reared up and off its intended path. That is, until it eventually got to Kentucky Lake, where the error was finally corrected and the border was brought back down to here. From there, it goes east until it reaches the Mississippi River, which means that the border should end here, but it doesn't. This is because in the past, the Mississippi looked something like this, meaning that the border would have ended here. But due to an 1812 earthquake, the course of the river changed, creating the Kentucky Bend. For a short time, it was claimed by Tennessee, but it was eventually left to Kentucky. Something similar to this also happened in Iowa. This place called Carter Lake is a part of Iowa, despite being west of the Missouri River. Because of an 1877 flood, the course of the river was redirected, creating this weird border which Nebraska now contested. After an 1892 Supreme Court case, though, it was determined that Carter Lake was still a part of Iowa. There's a part of Massachusetts that dips down into Connecticut called the Southwick Jog. It was created because back when they were colonies, the line between them was not very well defined and was disputed over. In order to fix this, in the 1970s, the two states sent out some boundary commissioners to finally create a clearly defined border between them. This ended up with Connecticut winning over a few towns, and so the commissioners recommended they give this piece of land to Massachusetts as a compromise, and so they did exactly that in 1804. That isn't the only weird border Connecticut has. In the bottom left of the state, there's this panhandle that cuts into New York. It dates back to 1650, when the Dutch and English were discussing their borders. They described Connecticut's western border as not coming within 10 miles of the Hudson River. But in short, a future charter and patent confused all of this, and now they disputed a lot of land. Tensions were high, and this border dispute got so serious to the point that the governor of New York issued arrest warrants for residents of border towns who pledged allegiance to Connecticut. Since these border towns usually identified more with Connecticut, when New York and Connecticut finally settled their border dispute in 1683, Connecticut got this border with this panhandle so they could get all these towns. But as a compromise for Connecticut getting this panhandle, New York got this equally sized amount of land to the panhandle. It's probably no surprise to hear that in the past, many of the states and colonies used to have overlapping claims. But did you know that at one point, five Five states disputed this area. In order to settle these disputes, the federal government pressured all these states to surrender their claims, and so they let go of these claims and it was now owned by the federal government. Soon after, the federal government sold it to Pennsylvania to give them a coastline. Maryland's borders are strange too, and if you want to find out why, then click here. But if you want to know why Alaska has a panhandle, then click here. Thanks for watching.